Welcome to Briefly and Clearly. Today I want to tell you about a movie called The Door in the Floor that was released in 2004. From the very first scenes of the movie, we find ourselves on an island where a small beach house is located. In this house lives a writer named Ted together with his wife Marion and daughter Ruth. The walls of their house are adorned with photographs of their sons Tom and Timmy who died in a car accident. After this tragedy the mother sinks into deep depression and still hasn't recovered. Meanwhile Ted is constantly busy with work. As a result Ruth receives care from a nanny named Alice. Learning about the tragedy that happened to her brothers the girl constantly walks around and looks at their photographs. The main character having lost his driver's license hires an assistant named Eddie. This assistant helps him with various small tasks. Marion being in a state of depression isolates herself and distances herself from her family. Because of this the couple decides to temporarily separate to rest and give each other time to recover. Marion checks into a hotel in the city. Ted stays in their house. The next morning Marion comes to pick up the driver and suddenly a spark ignites between them. Eddie a young and attractive man evokes the same attraction in Marion. After she drops off the assistant at the designated place Marion returns to the hotel. During the meeting between the driver and his boss we learn that Eddie sees Ted as a role model to emulate. He wants to become as successful a writer as Ted. Therefore he willingly carries out tasks for him and takes pride in his work for him. During a tour of the house Ted tells Eddie about his marital problems with Marion. The writer also introduces Eddie to the nanny. Later on we learn that Ted is not only involved in writing books but also in painting. Typically his works depict nude women. The next day Eddie accidentally encounters Marion at the theater. It turned out he came here to eat. There is no one at home to feed him. Without thinking twice the woman invites the man to have dinner together. Upon returning home the guy can't take his eyes off the photograph of his new friend. She looks very attractive. However his moment is interrupted by the return of the homeowner who nearly catches him in this activity. He barely had time to hide. The next morning Marion picked up Eddie and they went to the beach. When he saw the woman in a bikini he was speechless. And in the same evening upon returning home the man came up with the not so great idea of fooling. Around with his dragon on the found lingerie. However unfortunately he is interrupted by Marion entering the room. She reacts calmly saying that everything is fine. At that moment Eddie decides to finally confess his feelings for her. However the woman shows no reaction. After some time Marion visits her friend and tells him the story about the photographs. Afterward she seduces him and they engage in various activities. A week later Eddie and Marion are in their room. At that moment Ruth enters the room. Upon seeing what's happening she instantly bursts into tears and leaves the room. As a result of this situation Ted learns about his wife's affair with the driver. However he remains calm and peaceful about it. He decides to get a divorce and asks to keep the child with him. After those words in the evening Eddie decided to ask Marion how she feels about her husband. The woman began to affirm that her husband is caring and a good father. However she hates him because of his preference for painting nude women. In reality he used to use his wife as a model, but now everything has changed and he hires other women. In the next scene we see the girl saying that she plans to leave everything behind and go somewhere far away. On the same day Ted asks Eddie to go to Evelyn and return all her paintings. Now she occupies his thoughts completely. When the guy arrived at the place Evelyn was very irritated. She said that the man should meet her on Friday. In the evening Marion tells Eddie to drive her husband to the meeting with Evelyn, but not to return with him, thus he will have to find his own way back home. And Marion in the meantime packs her things and leaves to avoid arguments with her husband and not to be caught by him. The next day when Eddie was taking his boss to Evelyn the woman was in a bad mood. She tore up all the paintings sent by Ted. Meanwhile the driver following his lover's plan returned home and left the man at the lady's place. In the next scene the main character is in the library and meets girls who evaluate his paintings. He starts talking to them, as a result they agree to drive him home together. When he arrives home he catches his departing wife, she informs him that she is going to New York. Some time later Eddie returns home with Ruth. Ted becomes furious with the driver a fight breaks out and he hits him. After his wife's departure the man struggles with raising his daughter. The writer tells the former driver about this as well as mentions the car accident in which his sons died. It turns out that they were heavily intoxicated that day and had no driving experience. As a result both sons died. 
In an attempt to forget the pain, Marion decides to have another child who turns out to be Ruth. Unfortunately, it didn't bring any relief. The guy didn't know how to react to this story and what to say in response. Now, Eddie couldn't understand how Marion could abandon her own daughter. In the next scene, Evelyn's servant comes to meet Ted. It turns out that the woman fired him from his job. Upon hearing this, Ted hires him as a driver and his wife is invited to work as a cook and nanny for Ruth. After bidding farewell to the man, Eddie returns to his own place. Evelyn's servant and his wife begin to take care of the girl. Thus the movie comes to an end.